Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part 2 and I'm hoping the finish as well of this uh, Kirby Rosanne whale page. Now if you did watch the last video I based the whole thing with watercolour. Now I'm kicking myself because like 9 times out of 10 I do put sheets at the back of the paper. And this one time that I didn't, this one time that I didn't, it bleeds through. Anyway, um, the shading part of it, I'm going to do it as a time lapse. So you'll see the whole process, but it'll be sped up probably times four because I think this will take me a while. But I will mention that I'm going to be using the Brute Funa Squares to do all the shadows. But the Pan Pastel um, or acrylic, whichever I decide, the light beams, I will do them in real time to show you and any final details as well because I might actually add some stickles to this I don't know where yet I don't know where but we need to get all the the details done get all these fish coloured I'm wondering whether I can use some Karen markers to fill them in a different colour and then go over the top possibly with the pencils so if you see me using a marker it will be a Karen Ka I think it yeah it's Karen Karen markers I'll show the camera if I do end up using them uh, but anyway just let, let's get started
to let this dry for a good hour with the amount of acrylic paint that I popped on the page but I kept these out just to show you it was the Americana Deco uh, white acrylic paint and what I put over the whale at the top was Glamour Dust by Deco Art now I think this had separated you saw me shaking it rigorous what's the word rigorously <laughs> on camera and it was still quite uh, clumpy but if I just lift it up and you can just see the shine. I don't know if the camera... There you go. You can just see the glitter. I thought that would add a nice glisten effect. Now I have decided to use the pan pastels. One of, one of the top ones are broken. Um, and yeah, I'm just just going to do it. <laughs> just going to do it. I'm using this. I can't find my ruler anywhere since the move. So this is what I'm using to create straight-ish lines. Not I'm putting too much pressure on myself, they don't have to be perfect. Ideally I think I want the lines to be blended out a little bit as well. I've kept out the white um, acrylic pen that I'm going to use. And I have already used it, the Sunis acrylic paint pen. Now these come in a large pack and they're, they're great value for money these, great value. I'll try, last time I tried to find these I couldn't find this exact one. But I found one that was very similar but I will have a look again and see if I can link it in the description. Because in my opinion they're better than Posca pens and they're so much cheaper. So I'm going to start off in this corner. Just dip into the pan pastel. I'm using the soft tools that's recommended. I might switch over to a blender brush depending on. Oh no, I should be alright. I should be alright. So where I've put that glitter, you see it's really collecting the pan pastel there. I'll move. I'm going to call it a ruler, a <laughs> stencil. I'm going to move my ruler in a minute. Just see. So that line's not too bad. Do I want to keep it sharp on that side? Let's just carry on the line and see what I think. I will set this as well with a setting spray once I've completely finished everything. Just blend this line out a little bit. Pull it down a little bit more. That might have been a bit wonky there at the bottom, but it's fine. Same thing again. I just think this is just a really, it's a cheap way of doing it. You can do the watered down white, white acrylic, but this is probably easier. I think easier and quicker and less messy. Never thought I'd say that about pastels, but it is less messy than paint. And pull that colour down again. Now I think what I want to do is get a clean um, tool. Or oh, I might use, this is where I keep all my tools. Um, the edge of that should be okay, there's a bit of black on it. I don't actually know how you clean these, I don't think you can, I think you just have to replace them. Um, 
So what do I want to do here? The bottom part, I just want to blend out. I want it at its brightest at the top. Don't want it so bright down here. And blend some of them edges as well. Yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Right, another few lines. Um, where should we do it this time? Um, yeah, we'll go straight down. Not put any extra on that bottom bit. Do the same thing. It's just a really cheaty way of doing it. I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> uh, I think what I'll do is a couple of short ones, stopping about here. Uh, maybe just short ones there. Now you might have noticed as well I didn't colour in every single one of the pieces of the seaweed and the coral and stuff in different colours because I wanted this picture to be about the whale in the background and I didn't want to faff with loads of different um, details below it. And I think it looks alright with what I've done. I do wish sometimes, you know, you can get the the Hanalin colouring boots and there's one detail page and then one uh, more like, toned down page easily, uh, more simpler to colour. I wish Kirby did that, so he'd do, he'd give us this and then he'd give us just the whale maybe. I really, really wish they did do that. And then it's, it's given us the option then, it is, it's given us the option. Or even PDFs and then we could sort of... I don't, well, I don't know whether I'd be able to edit it or not. I'm sure, sure I'll be able to figure it out. But to take away all this background stuff, just in case I didn't want to do it. You know, sometimes you just want to pick a page up that's pretty quick and simple, don't you? And Kirby's pages definitely, definitely aren't uh, quick and simple usually. So I'm going to add a couple of shorter ones just at the top. And then I think that will be here. I'll uh, set the page off camera because I'll need to take it outside. Take it uh, outside into the garden and just set it. I will show you what spray that I use. Um, I have got it right there. Let me just lean over. It's called Fix. Is it just Fix? Academy Fix It. Extra Fix, Fast Drying, Suitable for Pan Pastels. Uh, can can be used on every surface. So that's what I'll use. I'll take it outside. I'm not spraying it in here with the doggo in here as well. So I'll blend all these ones out together. Um, I did mention about putting some stickles on, but now that because I've done that glitter, I don't want to. I think it might be a little bit over the top. Let's see how I feel about that now. Let's get all the dust off. Give this a, a little blend. Now I'm just checking that I'm... Do you know what I'm going to do before I fix it? I'm going to put some white gel pen along the top black line. Just to make sure that's a little... <laughs> Blankets fell down the back of my chair and I'm sat on it, so that's uncomfortable. But nowhere to put my Game of Thrones blanket, so it's on the back of my chair. It was on my door and I've moved it to the back of my chair. Not that you needed to know that, but now you do. Yeah, not being overly neat with this. I don't, e I don't even mind if there's some of the black showing through. I just want to show that it's it's highlighted, and I'll do that with some of the fish as well. Let's 
Let's do a little bit on top there. And a tip on his tail. I know this illustration is probably meant to be deep in the sea, but no, it's not. The sea is not that deep where he is. That's what I'm saying. So a couple of highlights on these little guys as well. See, some of them I didn't even go in with the pencil detail and I didn't feel a need to. I just used the car markers, these ones, and there's, there's no uh, colour pencil on them or anything. And a little bit on the jellyfish. Maybe some on these fishes as well. Um, I didn't colour in the starfish, but we can highlight the top of it, I suppose. Deep in that eye, highlighting the eyes. This little guy can have a highlight as well. And I think that is it. I think I'm quite happy with that, how it turned out. I mean, I don't know how many, how long that actually took in, in real time because um, the the sped part, the, sped, blah, 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 the time lapse part that you have just watched. I'm going to speed that up by times four. So if you can work it out, <laughs> I've obviously not looked at the looked at the footage yet. But I hope that you enjoyed it. I will remember next time definitely to put some uh, protective sheets behind this. I do normally do that, so I'm kicking myself now. This is a contender to actually be pinned up on my wall for a little bit. I do really, really like how it turned out. I'm pretty proud of that. And I hope that you like this sort of effect because it's so simple to do, actually. Just, just two more lines. <laughs> just two more lines. I just spotted and thought it looks a bit further. So we're gonna do one little one here and then one little on the other side as well. Because I think it looks just a little bit there. See, not too much, just a little bit. And then one on this side as well. There we go. Right, now it's complete. Now it's complete. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed filming this. Uh, if you let me know in the comments, I'll either pick another page out of this or I'll just do another Kirby. Um illustration for one of his other books but I did enjoy this I'd love to put, to be able to get hold of I think there's a Magimorphia one of uh, these poster books but I've not seen it for sale anywhere it's just sold out everywhere so I'll have to have a little look on eBay I think but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video take care bye